President Obama expected to hold a news conference at 11.30 regarding these new developments. We'll bring you that live, but first, there's a worldwide travel alert now out. News 2's Ashley Yost joins us from Charleston International with how this could impact you. And the federal government has the United States under a worldwide travel alert. This was issued by the State Department yesterday following the attacks that happened in Paris just about a week and a half ago. And the State Department has information that these large terrorist organizations like ISIS, Al Qaeda and Boko Haram plan to continue attacks like these in multiple region. And there's also the chance to see similar actions carried out by individuals inspired by these extremist groups. And along with travel, it warned that there is still a threat to places like sporting events, theaters, and open markets where there's large crowds. Be aware that these attacks could vary, targeting both official and private interests. And the State Department gave some tangible ways you can respond to this alert. They said, be aware of your surroundings, know where you are and how you can get out, avoid large crowds if possible and pay attention to the media and the city where you're headed and if you have a concern don't hesitate to contact local law enforcement the alert does not tell americans to avoid travel altogether and it's not based on any specific knowledge of an attack that's going to happen but they want americans to have a heightened sense of caution when traveling also tsa will be on added watch that means more time as you go through security we talked to travelers as they made their way to TSA and they say they're not worried about this threat that they want to get home for the holidays. It, it bothers me but it doesn't affect them. I need to get home and see my family. I think it makes people think twice but I, I don't think that it falls on deaf ears. I mean people are aware, people are here early. I noticed earlier there was a ton of people here so I think it's kind of 50-50. If they make me take off my shoes I'm good with that you know. So yeah pretty much I know that there's been some laxes but I don't I'm not worried about it. And the State Department does not issue alerts like this often. We had one at the 10 year anniversary of the September 11th attacks. And then again, and the week following Osama bin Laden's death, the last one we had was in December of 2014, following an attack in Sydney. Right now, I'm at Charleston International Airport. Ashley Yost, News 2. We talked with a representative at Charleston International earlier this week. Even before this alert, he said the airport planned to up security measures at TSA because of the attacks in Paris.